In Gobi Desert, the 1776 km high speed railway links Urumqi, capital of northwest China's Jingjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, with Langzhou, capital of Gongshu Province. Up to 462 km of the line in Jingjiang is located in windy areas. When the Langzhou Urumqi High Speed Railway became operational in 2014, a series of windbreak facilities were put into use, which greatly improved the safety and smoothness of train operation. While railway operators have adopted windbreak facilities to battle wind and sand, railway construction workers near the Taklimakan Desert in Jingjiang have opted to plant trees. For more than 30 years, railway maintenance workers in northwest China's Jingjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region have battled wind in the Gobi Desert to ensure safe rail operations. On strong windy days, they had to remove sands from the rails by shovels. Now, with the help of new technology and windbreak facility. The situation has changed. The Longju Urumqi High Speed Railway became operational in 2014. The 1776 km railway links Jingjiang regional capital of Urumqi with Longju, the capital of Gongshu province. It passes through several windy areas totaling 462 km in Jingjiang. Some of the sections see winds at a speed of more than 20 meters per second for an average of 200 days a year, with the maximum wind speed exceeding 32 meters per second. To shield the railway from wind and for safer operation, a series of windbreak facilities are put into use. Yu Gurong Langzhou Urumqi High Speed Railway Maintenance Worker says this is a windbreak tunnel. Its main structure consists of concrete walls and ventilation holes. We have more than 200 windy days a year in this place. We build the open tunnels to ensure the safe operation of trains. These concrete walls are designed to be wind barriers for the Longju Urumqi High Speed Railway. It is 4.3 meters high. Now we are only seeing a part of it. We have more than 300 kilometers of SAS walls along the High Speed Railway. While railway operation have adopted windbreak facilities to battle winds and sand, railway construction workers of the Hotan Rokyang Railway near the Taklimam Desert in Jingjiang have also opted to plant trees as a key national railway project extending over 825 km. The railway will link Hotan Rokyang Lanti in the Begolin Mongolian Autonomous Prefecture. Workers have created straw grids and planted millions of shrubs and trees. Wang Jing Jung, Hotan Rokyang Railway official says, We have four ways to battle winds. Second, using bridges as roads. Third, building straw grids to fix sand. Fourth, planting more trees and shrubs. Now we have planted nearly 50 million square meters of straw grids and about 13 million shrubs and trees. The Hotan Rokyang Railway is expected to open in June 2022. It will encircle the Takliman Desert and connect to several key existing railways in the region. Thank you.